So, you want to get an electric car, but you don't need the heavy duty stuff that could empty your bank accounts. Well, that's perfect, because in this video, we have got 10 of the best small electric cars that will be great for day to day city driving and also stay within a decent price range for most people. Citroen Miami Tonic. Now, if you are not looking for a car that is trying to do so much, and all you need is the most cost-effective vehicle that can get you from point A to B in one piece, then you should check out the Miami Tonic. This is somewhat more of a quadricycle than a car, but it has just enough features to keep you interested and comfortable. For drivers really looking for a quirky-looking microcar, the Ami Tonic also does that in this almost cartoon-like design. The best words used to describe the ME Tonic came from the head of graphic design at Citroen, who called it a toy for grown-ups. The front-wheel drive electric car produces just 8 horsepower, while the 5.5 kWh battery pack will last you 43 miles of driving. The selling price of this makes it even more interesting. The Citroen My Ami Tonic starts at just under $9,000. Would you consider buying a tiny car like this? Mini Cooper Electric As far as small cars go, that is the entire brand identity of Mini. With the Mini Cooper Electric, you are getting one of the most budget-friendly electric cars that money can buy. The tiny car offers an impressive pack of features and is a good implementation of the style. Aesthetics aside, the Cooper Electric seems to be one of those small but mighty situations with its performance. The motor on this car is tagged to produce a whopping 181 horsepower while running on a 28.9 kilowatt hour battery that should last you about 110 miles of driving on a full charge. Thanks to the small size of the battery and the car in general, this car is very quick and cutely aggressive on acceleration. It has been said to have great handling too, but you may want to watch out for the almost too well done traction control system of the Mini Cooper Electric. This tiny car starts at about $33,000 before other add-ons, but you may spend as much as $38,000 or more. Honda E If you're willing to trade some horsepower for more range and an interior design that could make you feel like an action movie star, then you'll also love the Honda E. First off, we've got to give Honda credit for not just designing another small EV that will roam the streets. This is an obvious emphasis on ensuring that the car looks good inside and out, and most importantly, does not feel boring to drive. On the Honda E, you get a larger 35.5 kilowatt hour battery that is tapped to last you about 137 miles of driving on a full charge. The model used to have a 134 horsepower option, but that has now been abandoned. So, if you do not get the Honda E now, you'll be getting a car with 152 horsepower. It might not be the largest number, but you can rest assured that it is not going to be sluggish, all thanks to the lightweight and not so large battery pack. The Honda E starts at a higher price of about $36,000. Fiat 500 Electric Fiat is another car maker that has maintained a very distinct design language across all its releases and the 500 electric remains one of the best implementations of this design language to date. If you need even more range on your small EV, then this is the one to try out. For this car, Fiat opted to keep things as simple as possible, and it is bound to appeal to a lot of drivers. Everything on the interior of the car is minimalist and, most importantly, functional. All the functions that you will need easy access to while you are driving are well distributed across the dashboard and the 10.25-inch touchscreen display is a great addition to the lineup. The 23.7 kilowatt-hour battery pack on the 500E should get you around 115 miles of driving on a full charge. However, there is another 42 kilowatt-hour option that can get you an estimated 199 miles of range on a full charge. Nonetheless, this car is not the best performer. Two motor options offer either 95 horsepower or 118 horsepower. All this starts at about $25,000 and could go as high as $35,000. Mazda MX-30 Alright, back to reality. The Mazda MX-30 was the company's first attempt at a fully electric vehicle. 
while it was not a perfect vehicle, it was an interesting debut that kept fans excited for what the sequel would bring. Unlike the quirky design theme of most of the other cars we have mentioned so far, this one looks very mature and very well done with its minimalist design and suicide doors. Looking away from the design, the MX-30 did not meet expectations with the range that it offered. The 30 kilowatt hour battery pack on this small EV only gets 100 miles of driving range. Wish it could go a little longer? Well, us too. Under different circumstances, most drivers would have expected an EV this size to have a bigger battery, thereby offering more range. Still though, we do have to point out that the MX-30 offers the most space for passengers and cargo than most of the other cars on our list today. With that being said, you do get 143 horsepower for the front-wheel drive motor of the MX-30, and it starts at about $35,000. Nissan LEAF the LEAF is another small EV that gets an under 30 k starting price tag, but of course, there may be a caveat or two to keep in mind. The Nissan LEAF has a pretty well-rounded design. It offers a safe design on the outside and enough space on the interior for passengers and cargo, which isn't very common with EVs in this class. The LEAF comes in two options. The standard LEAF S gets a 40 kilowatt hour battery that should last you an estimated 149 miles at 147 horsepower. The higher level SV offers 214 horsepower and a 62 kilowatt hour battery pack that should be good for about 215 miles of driving. Charging is the one issue that drivers may have with this car. The charging system of the Nissan LEAF is not always compatible with most regular public charging stations. This means you may need to set up charging at home and keep your travels as close to home as possible. The base level of the LEAF starts at just over $29,000, while the higher option costs just over $37,000. Vauxhall Corsa E Okay, let's add a little more range to the game with the Corsa Electric. Now, we'll kick things off by saying that the Corsa E does not look as snazzy as any of the other cars on today's list. So if red carpet ready looks are important to you, the Corsa is not designed for the front page of a magazine. However, if you are more concerned with not having to worry about charging too many times in a day, this is ideal with its renowned 222 mile range. The electric motor on the Corsa puts out just 136 horsepower, not the meanest, but it should be just enough to keep performance at a decent level. To secure the Corsa E, you may spend between $30,000 and $35,000 depending on the trim option and add-ons. Kia Soul EV Now, how about Kia's distinctive design language, a lot more range, more passenger room, and just enough punch to keep the driving interesting? Well, that is the Soul EV. The gas-only version of the Soul did pretty well, and the second-generation Soul EV also impresses. While there is now a lot of competition in the space, the Kia Soul EV does just enough to catch your attention. It's not the most fascinating setup on the inside with its tiny boot space, but the exterior maintains Kia's edgy style and looks cool. The entry-level Soul EV Urban gets you 134 horsepower from its electric motor and 171 miles of range from its 39.2 kilowatt hour battery. For the ultimate experience, you'll have to get the Explorer trim option. This one gets a 64 kilowatt hour battery that should comfortably get you 250 miles of range on a full charge and 201 horsepower. For a Kia Soul EV, you do need a pretty fat check that could range between $40,000 and $48,000. BMW i3 Some drivers are out for the most upscale experience they can get in a car, whatever the category they are shopping in, and BMWs are usually favorites in this section. The BMW i3 is not the most performance intensive car on our list, but you can be sure to get BMW's reliability and that premium interior feeling that elevates the overall driving experience. If you are worried about performance, you do not necessarily need to be. Combining the luxurious cabin experience with the rear mounted motor on the BMW i3 that gets you 170 horsepower on the standard trim is a pretty good deal. If you do go for the higher trim, that takes your car's performance to 184 horsepower. 
The range from the i3's 42.2 kWh battery is set at an estimated 190 miles between charges, and it starts around $35,000. Chevrolet Bolt Let us close things off today with what is possibly the best value for money on today's EV list. It's worth mentioning that this little high performer is the least priced EV on the market. This fact alone makes it a pretty eye-catching option, but there's more. First off, the design is a perfect implementation of Chevy's style on a small car, keeping it looking like a cute little fighter. Chevrolet has never been a brand to make sluggish vehicles either, and this is not an exception. The Chevrolet Bolt EV runs on a motor that puts out 200 horsepower. Fun, right? Well, take a seat because it gets even better. This tiny car gets a massive 60-watt kilowatt-hour battery that is tapped to carry you for a long 259-mile drive on a full charge. Will it get better? Oh, yes, it certainly does. The Chevy Bolt EV starts at around $26,000 before any of the extras that could turn that up a couple of thousand. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.